Welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a like up. There are two episodes left of When Calls the Heart Season 10. In the WCTA Season 10, Episode 11 entitled Long Time Running, Lucas and Elizabeth's wedding day is rapidly coming closer. Lee is even holding a bachelor party for the groom-to-be, but Elizabeth needs to talk to Lucas about something. As the Hope Valley water crisis morphs into something bigger, Elizabeth starts to spend more time with Nathan, not her fiancé. Is Lucas Bouchard going to be blindsided? Here is the latest news about the penultimate episode. This is a pivotal week on When Calls the Heart. There are two episodes left in Hallmark's long-running series, WCTA Season 10. In the past few episodes, a lot of things have Hardys talking. Firstly, the governor is behind the group taking away Hope Valley's water. This has made Lucas, Chris McNally, step up. Will he be running for governor now to save the town? It sure looks like it. In the upcoming episode, long time running, it becomes clear that Lucas is their only chance to win this election. He already is well known and has name recognition. But in the exclusive parade preview, he and Elizabeth, Aaron Krakow, talk about his press. However, she wants to talk to him about something important. What will she say to Lucas? Does Elizabeth worry about moving from this town that she loves? Or does she feel that the election and the wedding are too much to handle at the same time? Also, Bill Avery, Jack Wagner, discovers that there may be a legal reason to stop the group from stealing their water. Can he save the town? Meanwhile, Elizabeth continues to voice some concerns about the wedding. All of this recent talk about Jack has made that old pain return. Is she suffering from PTSD? Only Rosemary, Pascal Hutton, seems to realize how serious this is. Moreover, she is spending a lot of time talking to Nathan, Kevin McGarry, about matters of the heart. Although they are matters of his heart, they are very intimate conversations for this former beau to tell the woman who rejected him. Also, she works so hard to keep Lucas from seeing her wedding dress box, but she allows Nathan to see her in the awful wedding dress. What does this all mean? Most importantly, in another Hallmark preview for the upcoming episode, Nathan asks Elizabeth if she really wants to leave Hope Valley. He reminds her that she never wanted to leave this town. What does she tell him? In WCTA Season 10, Episode 11 Lucas has Bachelor Party, but will wedding get cancelled? As for now, this episode promises a bachelor party with Lee in charge of the festivities. But right now, Hardys are wondering if this will be for naught. Will there even be a wedding this season? Hardys, what do you think will happen in this second to the last episode? Share your predictions in the comments below. WCTA Season 10 Episode 11 entitled Long Time Running premieres on Sunday, October 8 at 9 p.m. Eastern on the Hallmark Channel. Lucas was getting married and the town of Hope Valley was abuzz with excitement. As the owner of the saloon and a beloved member of the community, Lucas had won the hearts of many, including his soon-to-be bride, Faith. With the wedding date fast approaching, it was time for the traditional bachelor party. Chapter 2. The Bachelor Party The Bachelor Party Planning Committee, consisting of Hickam, Jesse, and Carson, gathered at the saloon to discuss the upcoming festivities. Hickam suggested a camping trip in the nearby mountains, while Jesse proposed a night of poker and whiskey at the saloon. Carson, ever the voice of reason, suggested a combination of both, a camping trip followed by a poker game at the saloon. Chapter 3. The Camping Trip Lucas and his closest friends set out for the mountains early one Saturday morning. They pitched their tents by a serene lake, surrounded by towering trees and the soothing sounds of nature. As they sat around the campfire, sharing stories and toasting marshmallows, Lucas couldn't help but feel grateful for the friends who had become like family to him. Chapter 4. The Revelations As the night wore on and the whiskey flowed freely, the conversation turned to more serious matters. Jesse confessed his fears about becoming a father, while Carson shared his struggles with balancing work and family life. Lucas, too, opened up about his own doubts and insecurities, admitting that he was terrified of letting Faith down. Chapter 5. The Poker Game 
The next morning, they returned to Hope Valley and headed straight to the saloon for a poker game. The atmosphere was lively, with laughter and banter filling the air as cards were dealt and bets were placed. Despite his initial reservations, Lucas found himself enjoying the game, grateful for the distraction it provided from his impending wedding. Chapter 6 The Unexpected Visitor Just as the poker game was reaching its climax, an unexpected visitor arrived at the saloon. It was Faith, looking radiant and determined as ever. Lucas's heart skipped a beat at the sight of her, his worries melting away in her presence. But as she made her way to his side, he could see the concern in her eyes. Chapter 7 The Ultimam Faith wasted no time in getting straight to the point. She had heard rumors about the bachelor party getting out of hand, and she wanted answers. Lucas's friends exchanged nervous glances, knowing that they had crossed a line with their wild antics. But Lucas held Faith's gaze, his love for her shining through as he vowed to make things right. Chapter 8 The Reconciliation With Faith's ultimatum ringing in his ears, Lucas knew that he had to take action. He apologized profusely for his friend's behavior, assuring Faith that he would do whatever it took to salvage their relationship. And as they talked late into the night, their bond grew stronger than ever, reaffirming their commitment to each other. Chapter 9 the wedding day. As the sun rose on the morning of the wedding, Hope Valley was bathed in golden light, a fitting backdrop for the joyous occasion. Lucas stood at the altar, his heart pounding with anticipation as he waited for Faith to walk down the aisle. And when she finally appeared, radiant in her wedding gown, he knew that everything would be okay. Chapter 10. The Happily Ever After. With their vows exchanged and their love declared for all to see, Lucas and Faith embarked on their new life together as husband and wife. And as they danced under the stars, surrounded by their friends and family, they knew that no matter what challenges lay ahead, they would face them together, hand in hand, forevermore. As the celebration continued late into the night, Hope Valley echoed with laughter and music, a testament to the enduring power of love and friendship. And as Lucas looked around at the faces of those he held dear, he couldn't help but feel grateful for the journey that had brought him to this moment. A journey filled with laughter and tears, joy and sorrow, but above all, love. 